Here we go then, it's part two of the Zoom H2N mini series. I'm going to do this in a chat and I'm going to go methodically. So any YouTube um, player, a bit like this one, will have a speed up and slow down my voice this video. So please use it if you need to. Um, part one is out a little bit earlier on today and you can find it on this new playlist, Zoom H2 mini series by me, Mike Downs. Um, I'm not hiding anything here, so what I'm going to do is I'm using Google Slides and you can see all my slides I'm coming to on the left hand side and I hope you learn something as I am learning about myself and about the Zoom H2N as we do it. So the thing I want to get across here, although it's called the device and the setup, I want to make some sort of idea philosophical points about audio recording, about generally me as a person, how I work. and. There are tons of uh, other Zoom H2N videos on YouTube and my point really is that if you take something like the um, Zoom H2N and keep going on about it, it's a bit like looking at, say, as lovely as it is, the singer from London Grammar, Hannah Reed. Until you hear her voice, it means absolutely nothing. Similarly, of course, worldwide star Adele. Until you hear her voice, it means nothing. So what I'm trying to get to here is that going back to the Zoom H2N, this part is about a device and a setup, and after that will be tons of examples of how I used it. And I've got about 100 different files, but I want to try and make these videos to help people learn and help myself learn. First philosophical point, to speak and to listen. Old adage, we've got two ears and one mouth that we should use in that order for those good people. If I said to you, or looking around the streets these days, that you've got some headphones and a microphone, I would say it's easy for people as a want to go out there and spend $100 on some headphones. I found this picture here, and what I'm trying to get to is that I don't even know what these headphones are, but when I go to the UK store um, Argos and look at them, I'm thinking, oh my God, I want these, I want these. This is really, you know, th these are good. These, these are cool, look at those. They are fantastic. But my point is that when I come back to the idea that if you buy the headphones as a stylish item to put on your head and to look at them or to, to be seen in them, if you are listening to that audio, presumably you're going to be listening to music or maybe stuff from YouTube or hopefully your own recorded stuff. But what I'm trying to get to is for somebody to go off and say, hey, let's spend $100 or so, which is more or less what a Zoom costs, on or as a microphone, you go, why? Why bother? So what I'm trying to get to with the little balance in the middle here is, is it a 50-50 between if you want to spend $100 on headphones, you would expect someone else to have spent at least $100 on recording that music or recording that voice to get to you. Chances are, I don't think that's true. So then I put like a little balance down the bottom of 80, 20, 10, 90 to say, I would say it's more like People buy these incredible headsets to listen to things, yet with no real idea that the other end, how it is recorded. Let's leave that idea there because it can go on and on about it. OK, keep going to the Zoom H2N as a model was launched in 2011. So what I'm doing here is not new, but it's new to me personally. And if you're considering buying one of these things or even working more with audio, then you will be at a level where you're probably investigating. I already had one comment from someone immediately today saying, oh, I've been thinking about getting one of these for ages. So if you do start looking around, one of the old, old websites was zoom.co.jp. That is the website that I've always used. But then I'm in the UK, of course. I think the links I've got here are the Zoom North America website. But I think there are different websites around, but they all point to the same things. That's the point I wanted to make there. Now, going on to something like this actual Zoom that I purchased. It was from Bax Music in the UK, and it was actually less than that. It was 115. That's all I want to say about it, meaning that if you're in the UK, lovely, but you can buy these worldwide. So to go back to this technical part, what I did when I got the item, bear in mind I've had it for 30 days, I purchased a 32 gigabyte SD card. It was exactly the one that I had up here, which was a Scan Disk Ultra 
uh, with this specification and the price um, was less than that it was 12.99 what I'm getting at is that the item comes with a 2 gigabyte SD card which is lovely but I did the maths of how many WAV files I can fit onto the whole thing and I thought let's do this properly just let's get a 32 gigabyte card listen at the scene with headphones this is a really big deal because you wouldn't go out with your camera and start taking pictures or video without looking through the viewfinder or looking at the back of your camera phone yet it's very very easy to go and record audio and you just think that it's going in and then you get home and all you've got is something like a load of wind in there or which is the next point really and that is use a tripod or something if possible a finger scrape will ruin the audio meaning if you hold that zoom h2 or zoom h1 or whatever in your hand and you just move your finger you, uh, uh, that's the sort of sound you get on it and it ruins it so if you can get a tripod or get something and really figure out of course um, how to use the thing and test 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 download the PDF manual the item comes out of the box with a paper version it's very common these days to have a PDF manual I will show you uh, one that I had which looks like this it's 48 pages long and it is very very good have I read all of it yeah pretty much um, it's really interesting because even if you're thinking about purchasing this item then you can get all the PDF um, manual and stuff like this to have a good old look this is one see where I'm sort of going with the mouse here top right MS mic indicator lights when the MS mic is on flashes when the input signal is distorting which is the next point I'm coming to in a second update the firmware which is a thing off the website we'll show you in a minute and I also had to which is really important to install the Windows driver other than that you will plug in your zoom H2M into your PC or Mac or whatever and it will just want to transfer files you can't use it now I can plug it in to use it for OBS Studio Audacity or whatever I need to uh, what's the next one uh, oh yes here now a couple of things here which are just some, some points about my personal experience and that is I've just said on the right hand side they, these little red lights aren't real they've I've just put a thing over the top of it the red light this will flash or flicker if it's distorting while oops um, just no no if it's distorting that's it. it it doesn't have to be recording those lights are always on Pyrrhus may mention that the up arrow here is actually pointing on the MS so therefore the XY is not operative and it should be out but hey you know forgive me on that one if it's on four channel or two channel you get both lights turning up already and then on the bottom one for me for me when I use this I do not use the zoom H2n and then take the files and edit them on the zoom h2n yet or maybe ever I'm not sure what I'm trying to get to is I have the SD in SD card in and then I plug the USB lead in and I've not got two laptops I'm just trying to illustrate that I go immediately of course file manager and stuff transfer the files and then open them up in audacity to see what we've got or like right now and I'm just stepping my mouth back from this zoom h2n that I'm using because if I get too close the mic is slightly distorting probably not on OBS because I've turned it down but the point of it is is that what I'm doing right now is I've got two monitors I've got a 22 inch um, HP on the right and I've got a 15.6 inch Lenovo laptop on my left and what I'm actually seeing on my left is let's make this big because you can actually learn something from this is OBS Studio that's open of course this is a screenshot and that is pretty much my setup that I am actually recording on and of course the microphone that I'm coming in at would be the mic auxiliary and that will be very much on he says messing up his own slides it doesn't matter does it because I've used this slide is using the H2N and that is there what else have we got down here because I want to move as fast as I can yeah on a personal note I want to find my own way with the Zoom H2n. It only took me one day in, and which is going to be part three, talking about a, a bird of prey called the buzzard that I did this record. And I was like, oh my god! Yes, this has actually given me the audio, but what it's actually given me is the confidence, quite honestly, and the clarity to know that in any any situation, I can bring back a tiny piece of the world back on audio I'm already confident with photography and video that's not a problem with that but getting that 
great audio to stand the hairs up on the back of your neck is important. Now the reason I've used the slide here from the brilliant and talented Imogen Heap is that years ago I remember seeing it and can you see where I'm, I'm highlighting this with the, the mouse? She's got all of this equipment in her studio <clears throat> which is probably about 30 odd miles about from away from where I'm actually sitting closer to London and then she's got an old school H2 sitting on this tiny tri tripod in the middle here where, where I'm moving around. And I just think that when I saw it, I thought, oh, that, if Imogen Heap can use one or anybody else, then they must be a good quality to have it there to record things. And of course, the confidence and the clarity for me personally is where I send 99.9% .9 of my videos, and that is to my YouTube channel. So I think we're done, I think, especially when I say that. Um, I've covered that, covered that, covered that. I've had a look at some headphones, so what? Um, yeah, the, the one that I need to just gloss over and I say you can do this because it's a link, is that when you get to the Zoom, this is the North American website, or any website, they're the same, there is a whole multitude of field and video recording areas. They look like this. Of course, the, and it seems to be that the H1N, which is the new version with just with XYs, is there, and then you move up, and as you get to the higher numbers, everything gets more complicated. I immensely love the H2N right now. I haven't got to a level of an H4N. You can see that there's a module that comes off the top here. You can investigate that, but especially I think it's about 100, 150, 200 pounds up the price scale. But this little H2N is completely contained. And then as a gloss over, and it is a super gloss over because we've been here for 11 and a half minutes already, and that is that as you look and learn at the Zoom H2N website, and this will be the last time I'm talking about this, so perhaps I should slow down a tad, you've got all this technical information here, which is actually, you know, to keep matchsticks in my eyes to keep it open. Yes, it's important. Yes, it's vital. But really, I want this microphone to sing for me to record the world. And you have got five microphones in there. The brilliant way of working is this whole thing where I am really working to say, hey, let's just record in four channel, hit the mid mics, the three, hit the XYs, mix it in audacity and listen along later on. If you're into spatial audio, then this is maybe the only microphone, can't vouch for that, that is dealing with the Google Jump virtual reality platform and there's special audio things in there if you get the uh, firmware update. Then we've got stuff like this that you can, haven't looked at that yet. Um, I say this is not, not, not one of these things where I'm just going to go on and on and on about. But what I would say is that on a WAV file, I've got something, I think it for me, it gave me about 30 hours of recording or something like that, which is pretty good. I am a big, big user of the H2N as a USB audio in. So in other words, if you have a laptop or a Mac or whatever you have, stuff the thing in through the black wire, if you've got a black wire or a white one, and then it will say, do you want to use this as a transfer of the files or do you want to use it as audio? And then it gives you surround sound or whatever I've got it up set here. I think it's stereo mix. I use that all the time. I've got a mini tripod. I've got a big um, ball head thing here and then it fits with a tripod screw and that's where my mouth and my desk is set up right now. That is a lot of confidence uh, for me to know that I can be heard. And then what else have we got down here? Yep, features, you can look at those yourself. I'm sure I will dip in and dip out of them. Big SD card in the bottom. I think most of the ones that are sold these days with a little micro thing that shoves in. The bottom, I think you probably know that. And oh, the only thing that I did not actually say and that was, hold on a second, oh, uh, my Wi-Fi has been kicked off, but luckily I can keep recording. <laughs> nice. Um, and that is that when you have got this button down here, I know I had it on the other slide, but this record button, see, uh, let me just bring this in a bit, because uh, it's important to me, because my Zoom H, um, whatever it's called, the other one, hold on, let me just go back to this one. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see, yeah. This one here, this red button, when I had my Zoom H1N, whenever I pressed the record, it was like spongy and the display was really small and never knew whether it went on or off. So when I've got something like this Zoom H2N, when I press this down, it's almost like kadunk, 
kudunk, you know, it, the record button depresses about at least one and a half millimeters. You can really feel the thing is going down and, and there is a button there to press. Again, gives you confidence, but you have got the zero zeros at the top here, which starts counting and you can instantly see when the thing is moving. And I think quite honestly, I'm going to slow down for just for a couple of seconds. Yeah, downloads. I went in and I got my operation manual. I went and got a some software to do with the driver. And I think there's one other thing that I got. But anyway, look, finish, finish, finish. I will. And that is in part three, you're going to see or hear rather one of my first ever recordings, which was just on a mid side which is a bird of prey called the buzzard and for me it was old you know hairs on the back of the neck stood up like this that came in and then I take a short walk in the countryside and I stop at about six different places but for me it was reinforcing the idea that the zoom h2n is really really good but you know technical part over and out I will shove this video onto this playlist okay bye bye